Painting with Light, The Secret Language of Art, Part 1 A painter should begin every canvas with a wash of black because all things in nature are dark except where exposed by the light. Leonardo da Vinci It is inexplicable how light affects our emotions and leads us into different realities. Those who have discovered the mystery of light are those whose paintings last through the ages. Luckily, the paintings keep this knowledge and, by exploring them, we can find many vital tips and can use them when we paint. Shall we start? Front Lightning Diego Rivera uses that kind of light to emphasize the different shapes in his paintings. His narrative is complex, often with many figures, therefore every bold central shade could interfere the complex tango. Technically, front lighting makes everything seem like monolith because shades are just like contour around the shape. Tamara de Lempica is also a fan of the front lighting. Here curves, clothes, flowers, figures, buildings, they all look like sculptures, powerful forms with their own integrity. Sight lighting Light from the side is one of Johannes Vermeer's favorite instruments. He places all important objects close to a natural light source. Shadows make forms more realistic and three-dimensional. Side lighting divides every image in light and dark part. The light attracts the viewer's eyes, whereas the dark generalizes the form and conceals it in a mystery. Contrajour or backlight When the visible side of the object remains in shadow and its backside is illuminated, we call that backlighting. Sometimes light is so strong that we see just a black silhouette. Contrajour light is really magnetic. This duality is so attractive. Large pieces of light and darkness flicker and make the painting vibrant.